Is this officially the year of Zorin OS? There's been some real movement happening with this Linux operating system ever since the release of Zorin OS 18 at the end of life for Windows 10, which officially had its end of life or end of support on October 14th of 2025. After that announcement, it seems like Zorin OS 18 just cannot stop winning as it has become a strong option for people leaving Windows 10, especially for those of you who cannot or don't want to move to Windows 11 due to hardware restrictions or requirements. For those of you unaware, there are some Windows 11 hardware requirements that block or discourage people from actually upgrading, including TPM 2.0 or the trusted platform module. Windows 11 requires TPM version two or better for security features. And many older PCs don't have TPM at all or have older TPM hardware like 1.2. Also the CPU processor list that's supported is only getting smaller and smaller as Windows is slowly deprecating older architectures. Really anything before 2017 may not be able to run Windows 11 at all. And these are big reasons why people are going to Linux. But this specific Linux distribution has been winning and this may be its year to really pop off as in the last few months, it's gotten major appeal with features like the Zorin appearance tool, which allows you to select different layouts and a very familiar like layout to Windows. This helps people transition over from Windows much more easily. It also has things like including including online accounts with OneDrive integration. Zorin Connect that allows you to connect up your phone with the computer. And probably the biggest thing is the Windows app compatibility that makes installing Windows app support with wine and bottles much easier for new people coming over to Linux and Zorin. Anyways, on their blog, a lot of you have probably seen this at this point, which is 1 million downloads for Zorin 18. That might not seem as impressive as it actually is. If we go into the blog post, this was posted back in November, about a month after Windows 10 end of life was announced, Zorin celebrated 1 million downloads of Zorin OS 18. To better understand this, it's not just over the lifetime of Zorin. No, we're thrilled to announce that Zorin OS 18 has amassed 1 million downloads in just over a month since its release, breaking all previous records. And to dig into the analytics a little deeper, the Zorin team pulled the veil back and says, what's even more encouraging is that over 78% of these downloads came from Windows. This influx of new users reflects our mission to provide a better alternative to the incumbent PC operating systems from big tech. And that's exactly what they're doing because they just broke an even bigger milestone. And it should be encouraging to the Linux community as we're seeing a mass exodus of people from Windows. Now it's not going to be the year of Linux as we all tend to believe every year, but it may be the year of Zorin. It's gonna be hard to keep up this momentum, but it's well-deserved as this project was started back in 2018 by two people. The company is based out of Dublin, Ireland, and they do offer a pro edition, which helps with support and getting more features, including more layouts. Zorin OS was initially released around July 1st of 2009. So it's existed for quite a while now. We're getting onto almost two full decades and Zorin has really been making the rounds on YouTube. Switch and Click just recently did a review of Zorin with a framework desktop. And other big YouTubers have really been pushing not only Linux, but specifically Zorin as the spikes in downloads continues to increase. This video called a Linux distro made for 99% of people from Switch and Click has seen nearly 400,000 views in just six days. That's massive, especially for Linux. As more and more people seem to be open to switching to Linux, including Zorin OS, because there's been a lot of trends that have been hitting all at once. With Windows 10 end of life, easier gaming on Linux now that's actually good, YouTube and communities making the switch easier and seemingly less scary to Windows natives, and all the slop that's coming with Windows lately, including AI being forced to everyone, it's no wonder that we just hit another massive milestone. Zorin OS 18 just crossed 2 million downloads in under three months. More than three quarters of those downloads came from Windows users, helping it to grow the Linux user base even further. And from the Zorin OS team, thank you to everyone who has supported and shared our biggest release ever. And this is getting more and more traction. This was posted just a few days ago by the Zorin OS team. I haven't seen a blog quite yet, but I'd love additional breakdown of this 2 million downloads. 2 million downloads in just under three months. That is a massive deal for this operating system. And I think it's awesome that 
newcomers from Windows are getting options, specifically in Linux. As Linux has historically dominated servers, embedded systems, and enthusiasts, but frustration with forced AI integrations, bloat, hardware minimums, is really pushing people towards other options. As nowadays, better hardware and driver support on Linux is available for most users, and Zorin OS has uniquely positioned itself as the Linux distro for everyday users, which is helping transition people away from the mainstream desktop, the Windows desktop, and it really continues to position itself forward. It is important that we keep talking about Linux because for many everyday users, a computer either means Windows or Mac. But as we keep talking about this and giving people awareness that they have options, this will increase adoption. And I'm definitely here for it. We've seen major channels, including LTT, really focus on Linux and you can check the comments. People are asking for that content. It's great to see. After nearly seven years of doing this, I'm really starting to get excited for broad, Linux adoption. And Zorin OS keeps chugging along. Some new news from them. Coming soon, Zorin Grid. Something new and something I haven't really heard anyone talking about is Zorin Grid, which is actually going to target IT management. It's a way for organizations to run Zorin OS on their computers. Think schools, businesses, nonprofits, even governments, as this project will help those people in IT manage many PCs from one web dashboard instead of managing them one by one, it's definitely an interesting model. Now, this isn't for the everyday user, but you can tell that Zorin has a focus on not only targeting the daily users, but also the IT world. And this makes sense because I'm sure they're trying in the background to make a profit off this. After all, they do offer Zorin Pro, which is kind of the premium edition of Zorin OS. For most users, Zorin Core is perfectly fine, and that's the free edition. And Zorin Pro is a one-time paid version of Zorin OS. And basically it just throws on a few extra apps and some layouts, which all could technically be added manually later. But if you're a user who's making a transition from Windows to Linux, it's nice that you can get some extra support and of course support the project. All this news makes it feel like it is the year of Zorin OS. Linux is finally starting to hit some of the mainstream that it has long struggled with. Everyday users, and I love to see the fact that Windows users are actually exploring alternatives now. With this rapid growth in downloads and real user adoption and a better ecosystem, including hardware support, I'm hoping that this doesn't only help people move to Linux, but helps them keep old PCs useful. As we've seen a massive jump in RAM and GPU prices, it's gonna be harder for people to actually buy new parts for their PCs or upgrade to a new PC because people are getting priced out. Linux is a way to actually keep running older hardware. People will have less pressure to actually upgrade or panic upgrade as those markets stabilize. And right now with Windows 11 blocking older hardware, millions of PCs that are artificially obsolete after Windows 10, Linux is really offering an escape. So for the first time in a long while, operating system choice is influenced by hardware replacement. And I think we're going to see more option over the year as also AI slop is going to continue over this year. Anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. It's exciting news for the Linux community and the Zorin OS project. Congratulations on your milestones. I do have an in-depth review video for Zorin OS 18 specifically. If you want to check that out, you can check out the look and feel, what options you have, how to run applications, including Windows applications, and just get a good understanding if it's the right desktop for you. I'm going to post a link in the description below so you can check out that video. Also, if you made it to the end of the video, you're a true fan, make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button on the way back up. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.